Alright everyone, so, after that crazy ass quest, I think now it is time for us to do some action. Now the question is, we didn't find any of these, did we? No, these are all waypoints we got from people talking to us, correct? So we need to leave town. We're gonna do this mission. We need to get out of town, correct? And, uh... <clears throat> And head out into the wilderness. So let's do it. Should we right this way? We're right here. I think. How do we get out of town? Where's the exit? Oh god. I missed the exit? It's over here? I'm so confused. Little Crow to the Super Chats to check my PayPal. Thank you, Little Crow. I will. Thank you for the super chat, and it sounds like you sent me a tip as well. I appreciate that. You saw what I did? I left the town in midair to avoid fall damage. That was pretty impressive. I also put on my, uh, my fin gleam helmet so I can see at night. Right? Why not? Wow! Excuse me. I'm so sorry, everyone. That was really disgusting. And, uh... Please excuse me. Let's get Little Crow on the leaderboard. <clears throat> Thank you for the super chat. And then... Yes, Little Crow tipped $5.10 to become tonight's top tipper. Let's get Little Crow up... Well, first let's play his animation. Then let's get Little Crow up on the leaderboard before we head out to this bleak... Bleak... Leaks... Bleak Leaks Cavern. I forget what it's called. Bleak Falls Cavern. That 10 cents puts Little Crow into the number one spot for top tipper of the night. Thank you so much, Little Crow, for that. I appreciate it. Okay. <clears throat> Continuing on. Let's head towards this, uh... I think it is Bleak Falls Cavern, isn't it? Okay. Godric says, I miss calling the top cheerer on Twitch the cheerleader. We don't do cheerleader here, you know, or, or excuse me, we don't do... Uh, <clears throat> well, well, hold on a second. <clears throat> did we do that on Twitch? I know we always did top tipper. Did we always did we do top cheerer, or did we just do latest cheerer? Because I swear I've always done latest cheerer. No. <clears throat> Here's my flame spells. Oh, I forgot to level up. Oh shit. Shit. I guess we'll do it after the cave. Sucks I forgot to level up and get better stats. That really stinks. Damn it. <clears throat> Once again, the frame rate is screwed up. I don't know why, guys. It's only Oblivion. It's literally only Oblivion where I have this frame rate issue. I don't have it in any other game. But this game, for some reason, the frame rate chops up. I'm at a loss as to why it happens. <clears throat> It's Bleak Flats Cave. I was completely wrong. Alright, Bleak Flats. Toss a fireball. I want to try doing some destruction magic if I can. Life right now because it would actually show up on my helmet, correct? What the? I'm mad late. Try the other one. I have two flame spells. Bone meal. When will the membership bomb lapse? Tuesday at some point. I don't know when. That's the problem. I don't actually know if it's going to be Tuesday morning. 
So we have tonight and we have tomorrow for sure, but it might actually run out Tuesday morning. So if we don't hit the members goal, you know, within the next 24 hours, it's not even a guarantee if we make it to Tuesday morning that we'll hit the members goal for the month. We may, it may run out, you know? I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. Should increase. That's what I was going for. I just realized zombies undead. So why does it have a life light on it? Remember this hat? It's supposed to illuminate things that are alive. The zombies aren't alive. They're undead, right? So technically, they shouldn't be glowing. Hmm. Oh shit. Deranged zombie. Do you be so deranged? I shouldn't have done the lunge, but lunge was a bad move. I was doing so well till I lunged. <laughs> I don't remember which healing spell I could do. It's one of the either left or right. One of them I thought oh there we go, it's this one. Okay. Alive, dead, same thing. Like, just because something can move doesn't technically mean it's alive. It could be undead, and that's what they are. I think they're undead, right? Oh, my zombie, zombie. It's a zombie world with a zombie. Okay. Slayer! Has gifted 10 memberships to the channel. We're going to see who gets them. Troma333. Plum Goral. Hold on, hold on. Ah! Uh, Chips Ahoy Chewy. Alex Arsenal. Alberto Casas. Travis Bales. Oh, uh, let's see here. Showtime. Casey Stage. M. Kalau. And Mullick. And with that, let us double check and see if we've hit the goal. We very well might have. I'm hoping no memberships expired. We started at 592 tonight at the beginning of the stream. Let's find out. Oh my god. Load! Now it won't load! My page won't load! Okay, it's loading. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. I have some bad news, actually. All right. So, sadly, after that membership bomb from Slayer, okay, we hit 601 members, which means you're stuck with me the day before the Super Bowl. We're going to be doing a special Super Bowl event. It's 100% locked in, and we're doing it no matter what. Now I need to start working on what I want. I'm going to start looking for stuff on Amazon. Um... Thank you, Slayer, so much for the 10 membership bomb to allow us to hit the Super Bowl Marathon event. So that's happening for sure the day before the Super Bowl, Saturday, February 11th. Now, if you're wondering why I just updated it to 650, it's because I told you guys at the beginning of the month that if we hit the Tier 1 membership goal, I would do a Tier 2. And the Tier 2 would be for a special React event. All right? So the Super Bowl event is happening no matter what. No worries. We'll start talking about the specifics i'm gonna look to order some stuff for it and we'll start planning now in fact probably when i go to the grocery store this week i'll look and see what they have for snack foods and things during the daytime and uh, i'll start talking with my wife about what kind of food we want to order that day maybe pizza and wings or something from somewhere okay but but now we got to work towards the tier two we don't need to we don't have to hit it it's just an optional thing that way if anyone else becomes a member tonight or tomorrow or tuesday it counts towards a goal Okay, so if we hit the tier two of 650, we're going to be doing a special react event. What will it be? You'll vote on it. We'll talk about it and it could be anything. It could be, uh, it could be an actual, um, like, like, a uh, documentary. In fact, you may not realize this, but June the King recently has done several different documentaries. He did one, I've been checking his videos. He did one on Toby Turner. He just did one on that guy with the glasses. 
So he's done some interesting documentaries recently that perhaps I could react to, okay? Or we could do other random react content as well. It doesn't have to be documentaries or dramas. It could be anything, all right? So if we hit tier two, before that members bomb expires on Tuesday, we will lock into doing a react event by the end of February and we will start to talk about the specifics of what you'd like to see, okay? <clears throat> Sound good? That's what we're working towards now. Now, in the meantime, I think that we should attack the mutant. Um, let's see here. I don't have a favorite Super Bowl team. Play Mutant League Football? It's not... Sadly, Mutant League Football is not on the Switch. I, I don't think it's even on the Genesis. Uh, was it on the Genesis Mini? If it is, I could hook up the Genesis Mini and we could do that. I don't remember if it was on there, though. Slayer, I really appreciate that. He says, we were so close, I wanted to drop the membership bot and lock it in before it left. That's really, really nice of you, Slayer. Thank you so very, very much. That is awesome of you to help out and let us lock into the event. Thank you. So now it's happening for sure. Thank you so very much. Again, every day now we can start to talk and plan what we want to do on that event. That's really nice. Thank you, thank you. Okay, fuck this guy. Fuck this guy. You son of a bitch. Ha! Ha! Oh, destruction went out. Beautiful. Damn, clobbered him. Frame rate's good, right? Yeah, see, the frame rate in the cave is fine. For some reason, when I'm working on the open world of frame rate tanks in this game, I don't know. Alright, he's done. Keep going in here. What do we got in here? I guess we should probably save. We've been doing pretty good. I should save before I screw up. Let's do a save here. Very good. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, shit. Here we go. What's weird is I have both a fireball and a flame spell. I switched them up, and they look exactly the same. So I don't even know what spell I'm casting right now. Is it Fireball or Flame? Your blade skill increased! The cuts and nicks from long practice sessions with all manner of blades has its benefits. You're a journeyman with the blade weapons. Your sidestep power attack now has a chance to disarm your opponent. Oh, I didn't even use that yet. Press and hold the attack while moving left or right. Let's try it. There it is. So it has a chance to disarm the opponent. Cool. We'll try that. Honestly, that's better because here's the heavy attack. It's like a weird lunge, but if you hit sideways, that's a little better, I think. And it could disarm the opponent. Interesting. Let me take a look at something. Where's, how do I do my hotkeys? How do I see my, my magic hotkey? Spells? What about my other spells? Yeah, what about my... Oh, here it is. So weak fireball and fireball. How do we hotkey this again? So weak fireball will make down, and then flare will make up. Now I know the difference. So flare is six damage. This one's five damage in five feet for three seconds. I'm so confused. They're like the same. Are they not? They look exactly the same. All right, I got a couple shout outs to shout out. First of all, we've got XC who did a super chat. Says, when is Midnight Suns? It's a great game. You know, I talked to my audience about it. I said, what would you like to see me do in January? People had different opinions. Um, Midnight Suns was in the discussion, but did not get selected at this point. It doesn't mean that I will never play it. Um, but right now, I think what it is, is I was already doing other RPGs. And to see me do another slow-paced, turn-based RPG might drive people nuts. Considering I'm already playing Elder Scrolls, Oblivion, and One Piece. So that's why it didn't happen. Maybe it will happen in the future, but right now, <clears throat> it's not happening. Okay? Little Crow to the Super Chat says, Do you mean rugby when you say football? I mean American football or the NFL, the National Football League. It's very different than international football, which is soccer here in the United States. That's what we call it. No, it's not a soccer event. It's not a football event. This is an American football event. The day before our Super Bowl, which is our biggest American football event of the year. So we're going to do it the day before. A marathon. I'm dressed up in various NFL jerseys. I'm going to have some NFL paraphernalia to wear and do funny stuff with. We're going to be playing classic, uh, you know, uh, sports games. We're going to be doing some reacting to some old school Super Bowl ads from the past. 
We're going to be doing a fantasy battle royale in WWE 2K22. And we're going to be eating some food. It's going to be a fun day of all kinds of stuff. Maybe I'll have some beer. We'll see. But it's going to be a fun marathon event coming up. That's February 11th. Okay. Okay. And like I said, now that that's out of the way, thank God, we can worry about possibly the tier 2. We don't have to go crazy about the tier 2. It's just an optional thing. But if we hit the tier 2, that will be pretty awesome. Because then we can do a react event as well in February, which I'd be excited for. Is this doing the area of effect damage? I can't tell which is which. I'm still confused. Arrange the zombie. They're deranged. Oh. Take that, you deranged zombie fuck. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, Jesus. I'm excited for these members. And also for the NFL event. Me too. It'll be very fun. Something very different. Again, I like that we're doing new things outside of the comfort zone. It's something I've never done before. You know, it should be something original and different and, and pretty cool to do as opposed to... Oh, well, let's redo the same marathon we've done 400 times or whatever. I like doing new stuff. Okay. Save again. Continue to level up my destruction for extra bonus experience, right? Okay. Oh. Hi. Pickpocket? No, I want to talk to him, not pickpocket him. <laughs> well, they're all gone. I can leave the cave? Oh, thank you. I'm ever so grateful. You're heading back to Skingrad, aren't you? Could I maybe come with you? Uh, It'd be safer, I think. So, what do you say? Sure, coward. Follow me. Oh, thank you. You're just too kind. Okay. Mage's Guild? The services provided at the Arcane University are just priceless. You can create your own enchantments there. Uh, rumors? Some say that Traven is misusing the power of the Archmage's position to further his personal... Many, many have already said that. It's a rumor we already heard. Andy Young says, Uh, do you feel like the quests in Oblivion are better than Skyrim? I heard a lot of people say that. I don't know. I don't know yet. I'll be right behind you. I can't really answer that yet. Let's keep going. I can't wait to be back in Skingrad. Safe and sound. I can sleep. I can sleep and level up. Sweet. No, wait, what? 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 I can't open the chest? You fuckface. I just saved your ass. I don't know about you, but I'm sleeping. I'm gonna level up. Okay. Wait, the air goes chilling as shadow approaches? What does that mean? No, don't do that. No shadow approaches me. I'm leveling up and I got some guy I need to save. <laughs> Come on, no. Shit. This is not good. No. No, no, no. Anyway, hold on. <laughs> uh, athletics, light armor, and acrobatics. All right, let's do speed. Let's do strength again. And let's do endurance. Ah! You soundly for a murderer. That's good. You'll need a clear conscience for what I'm about to propose. You have some nice minty breath, sir. Look at this. Look, <laughs> You're like, uh, like winto green mint or something. Like, whoo! It's very relaxing, very refreshing. He has those, those, those ice crystals coming out of his, uh, his lips. So, who are you? Gasp! Who are you now? I'll say nothing. I'll be dead silent. You prefer silence, then? <clears throat> As do I, my dear child. As do I. For is silence not the symphony of death, the orchestration of Sithis himself? Ironic, then, that I <laughs> Ooh, am now hmm. a speaker for the Dark Brotherhood. My name is Lucian Lachance, and my voice is the will of the night. Who's that? We know about that from She's Skyrim, the Night Mother. Observing as you kill, admiring as you end life without pity or remorse. The Night Mother is most pleased. That is why I stand here before you. I bear an offer. Aha! Uh -huh. 
say nothing. Um, I killed an innocent NPC? No. Remember, some of the quests we've already done. The NPCs were not innocent. We had the people who robbed the shop, and we had to kill them because they attacked me first. We had the three women who were luring men out to that cabin, and they were trying to steal everything off the men. So that's what this is. I murdered all of them. In, not in cold blood. They were attacking me first. See? Okay, say nothing. So, I have your wrath. I love you could just say nothing, and he just keeps going. <laughs> now listen closely. On the green road to the north of Reville lies the Inn of Ill Omen. There you will find a man named Rufio. Rufio! Kill him, and your initiation into the Dark Brotherhood will be complete. Do this, and the next time you sleep in a location I deem secure. I will reveal myself once more, bearing the love of your new family. Sounds great. Say nothing. Please accept this token from the Dark Brotherhood. It is a virgin blade and thirst for blood. May it serve you well, as does your silence. Your silence is the guy now standing I right behind you. Here's the whole conversation. I <laughs> You better not blame me if the fucking word of this gets out, you asshole. All right, I got a knife in the dark. So let's see. The Night Mother. We praise our unholy matron. From her shadowed womb you were born. From her breast we suckle malice and pain. Really? Usually that's not what comes out of there, I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, speaker? I am a speaker, a representative of the Dark Brotherhood. My voice is the voice of the Black Hand, our organization's ruling body. One of my duties is to find exceptional individuals, such as yourself, and offer a place within our family. Well, good for you. How about some rumors? Uh, dinner was all right. I had a microwave frozen dinner. It was... Uh, eggplant parmesan and I had a roll with butter that was my dinner because my wife was at work so I just made something fast and she came home around the time when I was taking a shower between the streams so no cooked meal today just something fast Jason what about a Panthers jersey I have a Panthers jersey don't I isn't my jersey the blue white and black isn't that supposed to be a Panthers jersey I think it is right I think I have two LA Raiders jerseys and a Panthers jersey but I don't, are they still the LA Raiders jersey anymore? They're not, right? They're, they're not LA Raiders, are they? They're some, some other country, or some other country, some other city now. But those are the, those, Ra those are Raiders jerseys and a Panthers jersey. Yeah. But I'll be wearing all of them. I'll be, I'll be alternating between them during that day. Okay. Oh, let's see here. Rumors. Dear brother, <laughs> I do not spread rumors. I don't spread rumors. I'm the fucking Dark Brotherhood, bitch. Rufio. Know that Rufio is old and weak and sleeps his days away. You could kill him before he even has a chance to wake, if you so choose. And Dark Brotherhood. Have you not heard of the Dark Brotherhood? Of the remorseless guild of paid assassins and homicidal cutthroats? Join us, and you'll find the Dark Brotherhood to be all that and so much more. How nice. We Good evening, Tyler. More than anything, a union of like-minded individuals. We kill for profit, for enjoyment, and for the glory of the dread father, Sithis. We are family with bonds forged in blood and death. Okay. Your path is clear. All right. Send Rufio to his death, and the Dark Brotherhood will embrace you as family. Bye-bye. And he disappears. He's transparent. Okay. So, 672 says... I don't understand. The stream looks like I'm, I'm trying to watch through smudgy glasses. Well, hold on. 672. You have glasses, right? So take them off. Ready? I'll clean them. All right? Are you cleaning them right now? Start start clipping them. Okay. Good. Keep cleaning them. All right. So now, put them back on and tell me how does the stream look. Is it better? <laughs> Okay. Anyway, we have to sleep again, or did was that a double level up? Did I get a double level up? I don't even know, because I was owed two levels. I don't feel like I got two levels of experience, though. Right? 
I feel like I only got one level. I feel like I kind of got cheated. Because it said that it was two levels, but I don't think I got the two levels. Alright, here we go again so I can see. Yeah, I don't know. I think I just got ripped off. Wasn't I supposed to get two levels? Do I prefer Oblivion or Skyrim Dialogue? Aren't they the same? They seem pretty similar to me. I don't know. I feel like I just got ripped off because it said... Every time I sleep, you level up. So I slept, but I only got three points. Wouldn't I have gotten three points even if I had just done the one level? But that was supposed to be two. I don't know. I'm confused. The voice acting style? Even the voice acting style is similar. The voice acting style is very similar to, uh, to Skyrim. I'd say everything is so similar. Wait a minute. Oh, no. Oh, I didn't go in here yet? I didn't go in here yet. Huh. It's a dead end. With five gold. Wow, what a great way to go. How stupid. Skyrim voice acting seems more generic compared to Oblivion. You think so? I think... I don't know. I, th I think a lot of the voice acting cast is reused. I, I recognize some of them. From Skyrim. Honestly. It's kind of the same thing with Fallout. How they all they only have like ten voice actors for the whole game. Right? Alright. So where did he go? There he is. Take that off now, right? All right, we're gonna go back to town. Let's go. Let's go back to town, buddy. See, now there's no frame rate drop. So what causes the frame rate drop in this game that sometimes it happens and sometimes it doesn't? Like, this is if it was always because it was outdoors, there would be a frame rate drop right now. But there's no frame rate drop right now. See? I don't know what's causing the frame rate drop. It's, it's completely unique just to this game for some reason, and it seems to be completely random when it happens. Slayers says that Skyrim likes to use the same deep, maze vo deep voiced male for all their NPCs. This one too, though. Like that guy who's from the Brotherhood. I swear he was 10 other characters already. Sounded very familiar. <laughs> when was I getting frame rate drops? Basically, whenever we went to the open world or in the middle of town, it would happen. And then sometimes it would just stop happening. Like right now, as you can see, there's no frame rate drop at all. Is he with me? There he is. How are you? Are right, we gonna get him back to the Mages Guild, right? Blessed we are. Blessed we are. Ah. Fight well. We made it. Blue is the Panthers. The blue jersey is the Panthers jersey. Gotcha. What is it? Well met. Well met. He's back. Absolutely. Audrian, I'm back. I was rescued. So it would seem. You're unharmed, I presume. Have you spoken well, with Adriana my today? Is a little I cool. did, in fact. Oh, I don't spare think me. She was paying attention, You're lucky no. I bothered to send so someone after you at all. I take it you want something. In the future, Wait, would well, you please, please be more Everyone's careful? Saying uh, stop in talking over each other. I'll just pack up my I can't understand. Thank you for sending someone to help me. Have you heard any this word about the other day. provinces? Greetings. Nothing What's new like with you? It's too loud. Are are too you talking. Are attempting to capture the whole of Shut up. What do you want? Larther. No, Erith. Erthor. He's... Well, he's an interesting fellow. Wait, what? Salinus Vicinus I just saved him. more about him, if you wish to know. Salinus <sighs> should be around. I saved him, you stupid. Give me a recommendation. I've spoken with Erthor, who seems to be all right. All right. Good work. I'll see to it that your recommendation is sent in as soon as I have a free moment. Okay. As I've said, I'm rather busy. I'll get to it eventually, though, I assure you. All right, we did it. So this one's done. 
Beautiful. All right, this mage's guild quest is done. Good. Good, good. Yep, completed quest. Okay. So we have the Knife in the Dark, which is the Dark Brotherhood. A lot of people have been telling me that the Dark Brotherhood is really good in this game and I should do it. <clears throat> we also have this one. Isn't this, uh, is this Fighter's Guild? Magler tells me the contract. Yes, this is the Fighter's Guild. We should probably do this one next, right? Yeah, we should do all these guild quests out here first, and then we should move on to other quests. <clears throat> so let's do this now. Can I review the new Scooby Doo show? No, I don't have. I keep telling people I don't have HBO Max. My pleasure, really. I can't. I can't review shows I don't have. Scooby Dooby Doo. I heard it sucks anyway. Like Stinky Poo. Scooby Dooby Doo Morning. sucks like Stinky Poo. Actually, it's not Scooby Doo, isn't it? Isn't it Velma? And there's no Scooby Doo. Velma really sucks. What the fuck? Why is she Indian now? <laughs> Right? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> oh my god. Anyway. How do you project project yourself onto an established character of Americana because you have a ginormous ego? I don't know. I'm just I'm just asking the question hypothetically. What do you guys think? Anyway, let's continue. <laughs> I don't know. How could you possibly appropriate a character that already exists in pop culture that everyone likes and turn it into something it's not for your own personal ego gain? Hmm. I wonder how you could possibly do that. I don't know how that could ever happen. Anyway, let's continue. <laughs> hmm. Fallen Rock Cave. Aha. Your binge your family's been watching The Blacklist. I only saw like one season of it. I did like the season I saw, but that was all I ever saw of The Blacklist. Never got past season one, I think. All right, so everyone, we are heading into our finale of the stream, the final roughly half hour or so here tonight. Last chance if you would like to contribute in any way, and I would really appreciate it, as you can see. Memberships were great. I'm very happy we hit the members goal, but everything else tonight has been quite slow. This is actually the, the, the first time we've actually played Oblivion that's been like that. Um, <clears throat> like I said, I hope that it will not continue uh, moving forward because I really enjoyed these streams and having the amount of support I've had has been great. It's actually been one of the most most supported streams I've been doing. So, oh god, a dead skeleton. So, last chance if anyone would like to contribute in any way, and thank you if you do. <clears throat> okay. What's that noise? I heard something. Skeletons! I fucking hate skeletons. Everyone knows that. How much I fucking hate skeletons. An armless zombie only has one arm. <laughs> Fucking skeletons. I hate it. Look, his head is right there. Look at that. <laughs> his fucking head. It's great. Which ending was worse? The Sopranos or The Lost? Well, I guess it's subjective because the answer is... Do you like the show with absolutely no ending because they copped out and decided not to write one? That way, you know, they couldn't definitively be com complained at and say that they wrote a bad ending. Or the show that had such an unintelligible ending that no one understood it and therefore, I guess you also couldn't complain because you didn't even know what happened, right? They're about equal. They're about equally bad in my opinion. Oh shit. Skeleton. Fucking missed. Shit. Take this. Oh, you fucking jump at me, you son of a bitch. I hate skeletons. Darth Galbach, I will see you tomorrow. Sounds good. I'm happy we hit the members call, too. Excellent. Thank you. Slayer says they're actually making season 10 of The Blacklist. Good lord, that, that show did really well, then. To hit 10 seasons, that's rare, right? Uh, 
save. Lord Angus says the Sopranos ending was confirmed. You can always figure it out if you paid attention. Oh, it's confirmed, so you've seen the ending. They filmed it. They actually filmed it and broadcast it, because if not, then it's not fucking confirmed. It doesn't matter what some showrunner said years later. If it's not in the show, it ain't in the show. It never fucking happened. You fucker! Okay. All right. Nothing here. The hell? There's another cave I missed. Yeah, look. Okay. Another cave I missed. says the cut to him die the cut to black is him dying it's obvious okay if it's obvious why don't you tell me exactly how he died tell me right now the exact way that he died since it's obvious and it was in the show i would love to to hear this detail for detail how it happened please tell me right now <laughs> He choked on his calzone. Yeah, I mean, that's the problem. Since they didn't write an ending, they didn't bother. They didn't film an ending. You could say whatever you want. Oh, you know, he, yeah, he choked on his fucking calzone. He went to the bathroom. He had a heart attack on the toilet like Elvis. Right? Did he get whacked? Maybe one of his kids had enough and fucking just, you know, ripped his fucking head off. I don't know. You have no clue because they didn't write it. it. Doesn't exist, dude. There's no ending. And the other part is that's worse. It's a worse cop out than buying a video game with no ending. Because as you know, my, my old song I used to sing, $50, no ending, fuck you. Right? So, thank you for your $50, no ending. Here's the difference the difference is when you spent 50 bucks, you spent 50 bucks. And then the 50 bucks is gone, and you spent maybe what, 20, 30 hours? No, no, no. People watch The Sopranos for how many fucking years to get no established ending? That was just disrespect. That was called, we are pussy bitches. And we cannot take criticism, so we will not write an ending. That way you fucking can complain for yourself. But you can't, we can't be blamed, because that's not actually what happened, because there was no ending. You see? It is the biggest pussy bitch ending I've ever seen in my life. It's so bad. How many years? Thank you for your 17 years you spent watching the show, no ending. That's just like, imagine if One Piece had no ending. Imagine if One Piece right now just said, oh, a whole, a whole black panel, that's the end of the, sh of the, the manga, and the show. A oh, black screen, that's the end of the anime. Done. How do you think people would react? People would freak. People would be fucking tearing at their own clothes. People would be writhing. They'd be like, ah! They turn stripper their shorts. No! No! We want ending. Ah! See? They'd be going nuts. You make them wait that long for an ending, they better fucking get an ending. No pussy bitch cop out. I'm not writing an ending because I'm a coward. You gotta give a fucking ending. I don't care if the ending is that Luffy is sitting around, the only one left of his crew, because they were all eaten by a dragon, and he's just sitting there taking a shit for like a whole episode. That's fine. At least that's an ending. You find out that Luffy's taking a shit for the final episode, and that's the series conclusion. Not nothing. Give me something, anything. Have Tony die on the toilet. I'm okay with that. Really. If Tony was trying to push a giant turd out of his butthole and he had an aneurysm and died, I would accept that ending over no ending. <laughs> Seriously. Come on. <laughs> Overpowered boots and this is uncalled for. Well, I disagree. It's very called for. I see a skeever. He's skeever. Let's play catch the fireball. Ready? 
And catch! Boosh! Oh, perfect shot! Perfect shot! That was cool. Anyway. Slayer says, for One Piece, apparently the author has the ending in mind, but the series has been taking so long to finish, the author hasn't had good health. Yeah, I did hear that. That's sad. That's sad, such a, a long-running series, and now, you know, it gets held up because the guy's feeling terrible, you know? It sucks. Because, obviously, he deserves to have his series have a proper ending, and so do the fans. Let's hope for the best fucking shit. Let's hope for the fucking fuck. Fucking ass. Balls. Chaff. Cop. Let's hope for the best. Let's, let's actually do it for real now, I guess. Okay. 13 gold. Totally not worth it. Okay. Oh. Are there enemies down there? There must be because I heard noise. Yeah, they are. They're trapped down there. So if I fall, I have to fight them. Well, that's going to suck. I better not fall. A, a bronze amulet? Can I just sell that? Because I, I can't enchant anything right now, right? How about the ending of A Song of Ice and Fire where you never finished the last two books? I mean, we all can argue about how bad that was not being two of the books because they're ending, there was no book ending at all, right? And we know who's to blame for that. Mr. George R. R. Martin, the laziest writer ever. <laughs> like, seriously. The laziest bum you ever did meet. Oh, how dare you try to drop those rocks on my head, you son of a bitch. Good night, Willow. Wait, I can't go through here? What? I can't pass this stupid rock? Get the fuck out of my way. Come on, I'm right here. What is this shit? I can't go through here. I guess they're gonna make me go through the, I have to drop down. Yeah. Boosh! Take it! Ooh, silver arrows. Those might be pretty good, actually. Well, there's two ways to go. <laughs> Bonk. You put him right to sleep. Bonk. Couple potions. Where am I right now? Oh, I'm circling back. Okay, I gotta go the other way. This is the wrong way. I gotta go the other direction. Bonk him right in the head. Bonk. Okay. Wait, what, what are they? I can't see what it is. What is it? Oh, crab. It was a crab. He was stuck in place. I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell what the hell it was. You. Mort flesh. Copper pearl ring and some gold. A journal. Brennus Astis Scholar. Much of the journal has become unreadable. The Cyrodiilic rat appears less aggressive than its counterpart. Blah, blah, blah. Billy's blah, blah, blah. Trolls do seem to have a weakness to fire. Let's take this. Maybe we need this for a quest. His journal? Yeah, look. I found Brennus Astis' journal. I should either speak with Magler or tell Modrin Orin that the contract is now completed. That's all I needed in this. We're done. We're done in this game now. Oh, cool. Carlos says, this stream has been hilarious. I wasn't expecting a rant about the Sopranos tonight. Well, I'm very sorry. I'm sorry to disappoint you. I know you were, you were tuning into the stream for complete boredom, nonsense, and uh, lack of entertainment factor. And I was trying to deliver that, and I failed miserably, and I'm very sorry about that. Okay. 
Um, I guess we're good. How do we leave? Uh, gotta go through the side tunnel over here. <clears throat> Carlos, I love you. Never know what topics will get brought up on each stream. It's fun. No, I agree. That This is the advantage of being an interactive streamer. One million percent. This is the difference between now and my old content. And when people tell me I like the old content better, like to some extent I can understand if you liked every once in a while a stupid a stupid joke or whatever. But for me, the thing that gets me, it, oh, it broke? Oh shit, I gotta repair my, uh, my gloves. Yeah. The thing that gets me about it is how can you tell me that the content I do today isn't better? I just don't understand that. How can you tell me that we're not having a great time tonight, right? Being silly. Oh, shitty ass. I gotta go have someone else do it, huh? Shitty ass. All right, Jade, have a good night. Thanks for chilling with me today. No, but seriously, like, I absolutely love this way more than I used to be, where it used to always just be... I need to fill dead air with a bunch of commentary because all I do is play games all day, right? Like, I don't like that. I personally enjoy doing variety content, having conversation with you guys, having fun, being silly. I like this way more than the content I used to put out when it was all about... Always had to have commentary about the game. Always had to be hyper-focused on the game. You know, that actually got played out, in my opinion. I got tired of that shit. Anyway... So wait, what are my two options for this quest? Either speak with Magler or tell Modrin or in the contract is complete. Magler was at the pub. Right? He's at the inn. Right here. Well, now she's being nice. Before she was a bitch. Now she's nice. What? <laughs> You're still around. I've told you why I defaulted on the contract. Not too much else to be said about it. Do what you must. Here's the journal. You found it, huh? <laughs> Good work, I guess. Well, take it back to Oren, then. He can pay you on the contract. Tell him what you want about me. I'll tell him you did the job. I'll be nice to you. Thanks. I'm not trying to shirk my duty. It used to be two or three men would be on this. I like the guild, but I've got a family to consider. Huh. I bought some wine from David Surly. Excellent body. He's a fine vintner. So instead of doing your mission, you bought wine. Whatever. You're a great person. <clears throat> okay. What playthrough put me on the map? Again, that's the thing. Not one playthrough put me on the map. Various people found me through various different playthroughs over the years. And that's the beauty of being a variety content creator. It really is. Some people discovered me from fighting games like Street Fighter 4. Some people saw Heavy Rain. Some people, uh, you know, saw my old Spider-Man playthroughs. And everyone has a different story about how they discovered me. And that's really neat. It really is. Some people were Spider-Man Web of Shadows. Some people were Spider-Man, uh, the other one, Shattered Dimensions. That was another one that got a million views. You know? Jade said he watched my Batman playthroughs. You see what I mean? Over the years, everyone's a little different. And that is the beauty of it. Is that no one has the same story. Because everyone likes different things about the content that I put out. Right? That's how cool is it that on a night stream we play Oblivion... We have a great interactive time, right? But in a day stream, I'm playing a survival horror game. That's a completely different vibe. Tomorrow, we'll have an incredibly chill One Piece, you know, turn-based JRPG style game. And then at night, we're going to play Warzone. That's chaotic and fun. It's just, it's different, and it's different crowds show up for different things. That's a great thing. Yeah. I love that. Why are you talking to me? Shouldn't you be finding Maglier? Why is this guy such an asshole? Here, Maglier. So. I assume you've dealt with Maggie. Tell me about why he defaulted on his contract. So. You've got the journal. Good. So, what happened in Skin Guy? He didn't default. Here's the journal. I'm gonna be nice. I'm gonna say he did it. He didn't? <clears throat> this doesn't sit well with me. Not well at all. 
Still, the job got done. Let's hope your friend Magnir has learned a lesson here. Okay. Advancement? I'm sorry. You fuckface. Duties. Back for more work, are you? Good. Some of our boys are causing trouble in Leowin. Looks bad for the game. Leowin? We haven't been to Leowin, have we? Causing trouble. Let's see here. Some of your brothers have been getting rowdy at the local tavern. I've got no problem with cutting loose, but I don't like it when we all look bad. You're looking for Relian, Vantus Prelius, and Dubak Groshar. I haven't had any trouble with them before, so find out what's going on. Huh. Drunk and Disorderly is our next quest waiting. for the Fighters Guild. Let's take a look at it. Um, Let's see here. Hold on. I got a burp. Oh, excuse me. Let's see here. Um, One button dashes. I don't know how some streamers can stream one game forever unless it's an MMO. They get some kind of a new expansion. It gets tedious. No, I agree. Even when I was into Street Fighter 4, okay? And I've said this before. I'll say it again. When Street Fighter 4 came out, I was at a crossroads. Because at that point, I'd only been making YouTube videos for about a year, okay? And when Street Fighter 4 came out, I was like, geez, what I could really do is heavily go into Street Fighter 4. I could try to cover these characters with tutorial videos. I could do series on each character. I could attend tournaments and film tournament footage. And I did that for a bit. I actually did that for like a six month period at the start of Street Fighter 4. <clears throat> and then what started happening? Essentially what happened, other games started coming out that I was very interested in. And I knew that when I had started on YouTube, I had that variety. And I was very excited to possibly play other games. And I was like, well, the thing is, if I play other games, I can't sit here and try to be a full coverage Street Fighter 4 guy. I can't. I could still play Street Fighter 4, but it has to be on a more casual basis. Because if you're going to play fighting games at a competitive level, you have to dedicate a ridiculous amount of your life to it. I'm just, you know, I know from experience, not only do you have to practice, but you have to practice against people where you live. You have to practice against people all over the country, the globe, to get that various experience against all these different tournament styles and everything. You have to play online. There's a lot to it. You have to travel a lot and go to tournaments and everything. It's a lifestyle, quite frankly. And I had this choice because I was like, well, I could opt to do that because Street Fighter 4 was blowing up in popularity. But after playing it for about six months, I'll be honest, I started to get bored. Not that I didn't like the game because I did like Street Fighter 4. But I was like, there's all this opportunity to do different stuff, to play a big variety of games and have fun with my audience as opposed to only play this one thing. And I kind of looked at it like I'd been there, done that. With Street Fighter, I'd been a competitive Street Fighter player already in my life. And I was really enjoying doing the variety stuff and actually opening up my eyes to new horizons of games, things that I had ignored for the greater part of 15 to 20 years because I was a competitive Street Fighter player. And at that point, I was like, you know what? I think I want to do variety. So I started doing variety and never stopped. I kept covering fighting games, but I balanced it with everything else. If I was just doing fighting games, I would probably be incredibly bored. Same thing with RPGs. I love RPGs. I love Oblivion, but I also love turn-based RPGs like the classics, but I also like One Piece. Imagine if all I played were RPGs, and I never ventured forth, and I never did Warzone, and I never did a survival horror game, or I never played a fighting game. All I did were RPGs. Can you imagine that? I don't know. For To me, variety is the spice of life. I love having that mix of, of stuff. Anyway, Drunk and Disorderly. Modern Orin assigned me to another of my duties. I am to travel to Leowin and find out why three members of the Fighters Guild, Dubok, Groshak, Grelian, and Vontis Prelius, have been causing trouble. So, where is this? Did we find this town yet? Where the fuck is it? Leowin. Hello. We're at Leowin. <clears throat> we haven't been here yet, so there'll be another town to investigate. Now I'm just curious. Um, 
what other quests do we have we do have the dark brotherhood quest that we can do outside of that we actually don't have much le uh, much else we don't have enough money to buy the house for the haunted house we don't have level 17 to be do the Moloch Vol quest. We do have the lion's pelt we need, but we don't. We're not level 17 yet. Um, oh, bring the new route to someone in Skingrad. We could do that. We've been in Skingrad now, so we could do that if we wanted. This we could look for the Mage's Guild in this new town that we're just arriving at. Correct. These are the two story missions, right? Okay. We got a lot to do. Let's save up and uh, let's adjourn for the night. And when we pick up in two nights, it'll be uh, actually Tuesday night when we'll pick up with <clears throat> Oblivion. We'll start from here. Maybe we'll investigate this town, do some missions. Thanks, everyone. Great audience. If you're watching this on demand on YouTube, please continue to engage with the content. Please leave likes. Please leave comments on the videos. And I will ask this as well. If you didn't notice, today was a slower night. If you're watching on demand on YouTube, some of the things you can do to support this channel, you can become a member, get the membership, you can do all those things even on on demand videos. Um, you could do a super thanks. Sure, you can't do a super chat, but super thanks on a video helps a lot. You can even check the description of the video and leave a tip. All right, so if you like Oblivion, you're enjoying it, please support it. Thank you so much. Until next time.